and welcome to this evening prayer for Monday of the third week of Eastertide. Evening prayer as according to the Universalis website. The hymn will be sung. I will say the entirety of the office uh, as I have no one here uh, to answer me. If it is your practice to say the office antiphonally, you are welcome to do so at home. O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. O Christ, the hands eternal King, Creator unto thee we sing, with God the Father ever one, co-equal, co-eternal Son. Thy hand, when first the world began, made in thine own pure image man, and linked to fleshly form of earth, a living soul of heavenly birth. And when the envious crafty foe had marred thy noblest works below, thou didst our ruined state repair, by deigning flesh thyself to wear. Once of a virgin born to save, and now newborn from death's dark grave, O Christ, thou bidst us ride with thee, from death to immortality. Eternal Shepherd, thou art wont to cleanse thy sheep within the font, that mystic bath, that grave of sin, where ransomed souls new life begin. Divine Redeemer, thou didst deign to bear for us the cross of pain and freely pay the precious price of all thy blood in sacrifice. Jesus, do thou to every heart unceasing paschal joy impart from death of sin and guilty strife set free the newborn sons of life. All praise be thine, O risen Lord, from death to endless life restored. All praise to God the Father be, and Holy Ghost eternally. Amen. The Lord will be your everlasting light. Your God will be your glory. Alleluia. To you I lift up my eyes, to you who dwell in the heavens, like the eyes of a servant watching his master, like the eyes of a maid on her mistress's hands. So we keep our eyes on the Lord our God, as we wait for his kindness. Take pity on us, Lord, take pity. We have had our fill of contempt. Our souls have had their fill of the laughter of the rich, of the contempt of the proud. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord will be your everlasting light. Your God will be your glory. Alleluia. The snare has been broken, and we have escaped. Alleluia. If the Lord had not been with us, so let Israel sing. If the Lord had not been with us, when men rose up against us, they might have skinned us alive, such was their anger. The waters could have drowned us, the torrent poured over us, the foaming waters poured over us. Blessed be the Lord, who saved us from being torn to pieces by their teeth. We have escaped, like a bird from the snare of the fowler. The snare was broken, and we escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The snare has been broken, and we have escaped. Alleluia. When I am lifted up above the earth, I shall draw all men to myself. Alleluia. Blessed be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in heaven. 
In love he chose us before the creation of the world, to be holy and spotless in his sight. He predestined us to be his adopted children through Jesus Christ, simply because it pleased him to do so. This he did for the praise of the glory of his grace, of his free gift to us, his beloved, in whose blood we have gained redemption and the forgiveness of our sins. This he did according to the riches of his grace, which he gave us in abundance, with all wisdom and discernment, revealing to us the mysteries of his will, because it pleased him to do so. In this action, he has planned in the fulfilment of time to bring all things together in Christ, from the heavens and from the earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. When I am lifted up above the earth, I shall draw all men to myself. Alleluia. Our High Priest has his place at the right hand of the throne of Divine Majesty in the heavens, and he is the minister of the sanctuary and of the true tent of meeting, which the Lord, and not any man, set up. It is the duty of every High Priest to offer gifts and sacrifices. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. They saw the Lord, Alleluia. Alleluia. The disciples rejoiced. Alleluia. Alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The disciples rejoiced. Alleluia. Alleluia. This is the work that God requires. Believe in the one whom he has sent. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my salvation. For he has shown me such favour, me his lowly handmaiden. Now all generations will call me blessed, because the Mighty One has done great things for me. His name is holy, his mercy lasts for generation after generation, for those who revere him. He has put forth his strength, he has scattered the proud and conceited, torn princes from their thrones, but lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel. He has remembered his mercy, as he promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. This is the work that God requires. Believe in the one whom he has sent. Alleluia. Let us pray to Christ, who was raised up by the Holy Spirit in his living and life-giving body. Lord, renew the whole of your creation. Christ, Saviour of the world, King of the new creation, you are enthroned at God's right hand. Set our hearts on the things that are of heaven. Lord, renew the whole of your creation. Lord, you are living always in your church. Lead her through the Holy Spirit into the fullness of your truth. Lord, Renew the whole church, the whole of your creation. Have pity on the sick, the distressed, and the dying. Strengthen, comfort, and sustain them. Lord, renew the whole of your creation. Christ, unfailing light, accept our devotion at the close of this day. Shed the radiance of your glory on the faithful departed. Lord, renew the whole of your creation. We pray this evening, especially for the repose of the soul of Joan Neighbour, for Sue and all her family, as they grieve, as they mourn. Lord, renew the whole of your creation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God and Father, to those who go astray, you reveal the light of your truth, 
and enable them to return to the right path. Grant that all who have received the grace of baptism may strive to be worthy of their Christian calling and reject everything opposed to it. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless us, preserve us from all evil, and bring us unto everlasting life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you to all those uh, who joined me for evening prayer on this Monday in the third week of Easter. Uh, please do join me tomorrow uh, for morning prayer and evening prayer, because as the Prime Minister has reminded us, it is important we exercise at least once a day. With our spiritual exercises, this must be at least twice a day. So please do join me tomorrow. I wish you a very good evening. God bless.